Tristan Bernardson. The last time we spoke, there was no fight on the horizon. Now there is next week. How uh, how is it? How does it feel to be booked first and foremost? Feel, it feels amazing just to finally get a fight after like two two years. Not having a fight two years this month. Not having a fight. So finally there. I looked at the date. I think it's two years and three days exactly. It's literally like it's it's within within touch and distance of oh, two years. Now. Crazy. Crazy. Let's talk about the opponents, David Burke, nine and one, French fighter. How do you view him as a style matchup? Um I think he's a top fighter, well, probably one of, one of the like better ones in the in the Cage Warriors Welterweight division. I think he's he's up there with one of the best, but yeah. definitely think um I wanna next time out there I'm gonna show how much better of a fighter I am from last time and how much better a fighter I am compared to him. What did you make of his, his loan? He's only had one fight in cage orders. What did you make of that performance? Yeah, it's month? good. He, he seems like he's a, a smart fighter. He seems like he's just... Doesn't look much of a finisher, but he looks like he, he knows how to win and, and like like good tactics in the fight. Um, I think that was, that was going to be too much for him. What do you feel is the big... I haven't watched a little bit of tape. What do you feel is the biggest advantage you hold over him? Um, probably just in every area. He, he, he is really good in every area, but I just think I'm better everywhere. Yeah. How does it feel? Because obviously you were in last couple of fights with him, Bellator, and then now you've you've made made the move to Cage Warriors, and I understand that was contract had just run out, and you just decided to go somewhere else. How did it feel making the move from from Bellator to Cage Warriors? It, it, it was good. You know what I mean? Like um, when I was in Bellator, I didn't know. Like, what the future was, what the future was like for it really. Like, I always wanted to just be in the UFC, and with Bellator, you didn't know if you're just gonna stop there and yeah, just like get offered better money and just get reeled into just taking the money. You know what I mean? But I always wanted to just be in the UFC, and like even if it's just a a peer cut. You know what I mean? That's, yes, that's where I wanted to be. You um. You went to Cage Warriors very, very young in your career. About sorry, Bellator. You went to Bellator very, very early in your career. When you actually think about the amount of fights that you had, maybe you could argue too early in some in some regard. Um. Yeah, in a way, but I think I, w- I wasn't really fighting like, um, the best, of the best in Bellator. Yeah, I was, oh, fight- course, I was yeah. fighting like other people who were on there, like. They had debut with Tom Bellator yeah, as well, course, so yeah. I wasn't really fighting like the top people in the in the division. So, but I I, I wanted to. You know, yeah, of course. Yeah. Well. Let's um let's talk about training camp. How was training? Obviously, it's the, the most cliche question in the world, but because I and I see you virtually every day. But how was training camp? Being any any bumps and bruises? Any any? Talk to me a little bit um, about that. It's been it's been hard. It's been it's been a hard camp. Um, me me and Jack Grant like. We've been like sort of main training partners yes. for same weight, same show, same date. So we've been like every day. Obviously, the everyone else in the camp's been pushing us and helping us on the on the sidelines where they've been giving us that extra push. But just it's been like me and Jack just sort of in the grind every day, and it's it's been tough. But it's been good to um work with Jack and learn a lot from him. You know what I mean? He's had he's had a lot more experience than me and um. He just, I would say, he knows a lot, a lot more about fighting than me in general. You yeah. know what I mean, so it was good to be by his side and just learn stuff from him. You know what I mean? Wait, you two, when I watch you two train specifically, it's like iron sharpen and iron, isn't it? You both, because when I see you two match up against each other, one day you'll get the better of Jack, and the other day Jack will get the better of you, and that's a good position yeah. to be in terms of training. Yeah, definitely. We're we're both up there. We're, we're definitely the both the best, the the two best in the division. By far, and people people will say that on the night. You know what I mean? And when we both fight, people will realize that we're miles ahead of the, the other people in the in the division. And uh, it's been it's been amazing training. Man. It's got to be an advantage as well fighting so near because in terms of weight, in terms of intensity, you you guys are peaking within twenty four hours of each other. Yeah. Yeah. What was what was the question? Again? So so for example, so you're fighting Friday night, and then Jack's fighting Saturday. So your training camps have been aligned right together. So as as you guys cut that weight and as you guys ramp up the training, you're doing it side by side, which yeah, has exactly. got to be a help. Um, 
yeah that's what's been like every day is just sort of even though it's it's not the exact same day but it's it's similar you know what i mean it's like we'll we'll be finishing camp like just the same yeah the same time you know what i mean and every day has been like the same sort of stuff for both of us and i mean obviously if one of us might be more tired than the other on one yeah. day we might need to rest different days maybe take a session off here and there but mostly it's just been just like full steam ahead for for like 12 weeks now yeah. Does it feel in any way surreal now having a fight book because you've had, you've been inactive for so long? Does it feel in any way like perplexing? Um, I thought I thought it would have, like when I was thinking like I haven't fought in two years, I was like, no, a long time. But now now it's here, it's just like it just feels like just like two years ago when yeah. I was I was fighting, it's like normal. Yeah. I I like even though I'm only young, I, st I still had a lot of amateur fights. Yeah. A lot of the K1 fight, the uh, Jiu-Jitsu competitions, MMA fights, you know what I mean? So I've, I've had a lot of experience from the age, so it's, it's just feels normal. Yeah, of course. Now, obviously, we've got, as we mentioned, your main training partner, Jack Grant, in the world title fight, the, the night after yours, welterweight world title, against Ian Gary. Generally speaking, when people were in cage for his world titles, they get signed to bigger promotions. Is the, how, how fast do you want to move through Cage Warriors into the title contention? Would, is it a case of as fast as Jack moves? or Where do you feel the future lies in terms of your career? Um, to be honest, I'm not really, not really thinking about that. To be honest, just, just thinking about the fight and, and just the long, the long like, short-term goal of just this next fight and then the long-term goal of just being in the UFC. Is, is a main part of this now having broke the camel's back if you like and having a fight booked I would imagine a main part of your um, focus is just staying active and just getting them getting yeah, them reps in almost definitely hopefully hopefully get more like three fights in this year yeah in the, like the second half of the year so and then I, I feel like I'll be back on track then by just getting back in there three times this year and then and because uh, I should by now I should add a lot more, a lot more pro fights than I've had. I've only yeah. had five, but like I've had a lot more booked and a lot of fights fall through through COVID and pull out. Yeah. So I should have a lot more by now. So hopefully, just get as many as possible. The beauty of cage worries as well, the way they do it now with the trilogy, is you can almost plan when you're going to fight next. I would imagine the next trilogy will be. I know they've got the show in America, but I'd imagine the next trilogy will be September, September this time, yeah, and then maybe well, December. December, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I thought. So. Hopefully, hopefully it goes like that, and they they do they do carry on the shows and that, and just fight on every single one. And obviously, it's going to be difficult to outdo yourself compared to the last fight, eight eight second knockout. So, so I, I think for one final question, we'll turn it back to to the fight at hand. So, just give me a give me a prediction. What happens when you're not in there next Friday? Um, I think I think I'll just just win every round. Win every every, everywhere, everywhere it goes. Just, just go in there and win the fight. Superb, mate. Well, very much thank you for your time today. And as as, as I said, the same thing to Jack. It's always great coming in and getting a little insight into into your training for this fight, mate. No worries, mate. Yeah. Cheers. Before we finish, how can people find you on social media? Um, at Justin Burlow and at Burlow Justin on Twitter. And final thing, it, the floor is yours. Anything you want to say or sign off with? Um, just a big thanks to Army sponsors. Uh, Helping us throughout camp, cozy home insulation, um, violent money, um, four corners gym, the the gym where where I'm based, um, all the coaches, Eric, John, Ozzy, everyone, um, the S and C coach Jake, um, Jake Freeman, just everyone who helped. It's uh, it's almost it's amazing. It's, the gym's just amazing. Everyone's everyone's there to help us every single day. All hours of the day, you can text any one of them, they'll help you out. Everyone's just there, there for each other in the gym, so just thanks to all of them. Yeah, couldn't agree more, mate. Thanks for your time. Thanks, mate.